Hello and welcome. This is Alistair Christie, and in this movie we're going to take a look at different ways of passing parameters and their effects. A very simple application. Um, if we run it, uh, 1 plus 4 is 5. Uh, to look at the add click, and basically we just take the two edit boxes, convert them to uh, integer variables, add them together, the result comes back in C, and we display it. The function uh, takes two integers and adds them together and returns a result in a, another parameter C, and C is assigned A plus B. Um, can't get much more simple than that. Now, there are two methods of passing parameters, or categories might be a better description. Uh, one of those is passing by value, which is what we've done here. If there's no, no modifier, it's uh, passing by value, and the other is passing by reference. Now, by default, um, its parameters are passed by value, and what effectively happens is a copy is made of A. So this A is different from this A in here. Uh, when passing by value, um, the other passing by reference, um, this C here is pointing to the same memory allocation as this C in here, uh, in, in this instance. And when passing by by value, if I go this um, a signing a7 will have no effect in in here because um, effectively that was just modifying a copy and has no effect on the original. Um, however, of course, uh, modifying c uh, has an effect, uh, and it's sort of in this case the desired result. Now there is another reference parameter passing method, uh, and it's using out, um, and it basically, uh, in Delphi I think it, it is very similar to var, uh, there might be some minor differences, um, possibly c is in some instances um, erased, or is, is yeah, when, it, when it's called, I'm, I'm not, not totally, totally certain, I don't use it very much, I think it's um, mostly used for com, um, I do, do use out occasionally um, when I'm not when the Im input of, in this case, C, uh, is not actually used in here, it's uh, only assigned. Um, so the initial value is not used. Now, what I'm going to do is basically show you that this, this A is different from this A. Um, so here's a, sh a show message. The, uh, uh, favorite way of debugging uh, for some people. Um, so basically what this line of code does is we get the address of A, we typecast it as an integer, um, this gives us a pointer, uh, pointers are basically integers. Um, and then we display it. So I'm just going to copy that code and throw it in there. And if we run this, it's 400 and 348. They're in fact different memory locations. Uh, if we change this to C and run it again, 400 and 400 they are, in fact, the same memory location, so modifying the same piece of memory. What I'm going to do now is make this const, if I can spell it, there we go, and what this does is prevents me from doing this. If I try and compile that, it will indeed give me an error saying I can't assign to it, so uh, as uh, a constant. Um, and if I run this, I used to think that um, using const was another form of passing by reference, so that my thought was that these would be the same um, address, but in fact I was proved wrong when I tested this the first time around. 400 and 348, so the different memory locations. Um, it turns out to be, um, or it might be more efficient, um, to actually pass by 
uh, pass by value than by reference um, if you look at the machine code, um, which we might do a little bit later. Uh, so, um, but only for um, things that are size the size of a register, so um, integers, pointers, and um, objects, for instance, object pointers would be included in that. Now, if we come down, I have this sum array, and basically this, this function, um, let's get rid of const, um, uh, just adds up the values inside the array. So it takes a sort of open array as a parameter, uh, and goes from the smallest value to the highest, or the, the, the first um, index to the, the highest index, and um, yeah, adds it up. So very simple. Um, and I've got this show message uh, for the address. And if we run that, so 392332, different locations, and our answer is 13. Um, and if I make this const, and run it again, 392 and 392. So the same memory location uh, in this case. Um, in this case, it's passing by reference, and up here it's passing by value. So const is a little bit, a little bit in between. Now, the reason for that is, of course, that this might not be um, an array of three integers. Uh, in which case, you know, if it's a passing by value, making a copy of that's not a big deal. It might be an array of a, a million integers or something like that, and making a copy of that. Probably um, take a measurable amount of time, and so um, you should pass things as const in those instances uh, to gain yourself a bit of uh, extra performance. But doing it for integers um, doesn't gain you anything. Um, and that was oh, I sort of said we'd look at the machine code. Um, if I put a breakpoint on here and run this and we can actually go into the view in the debug windows and look at the CPU window and we can look at the actual um, assembly instructions uh, that are used um, yeah this is a little bit out of my depth uh, so uh, I do have a look occasionally but um, I'm not really an expert on assembler, so it doesn't mean a lot to me. Um, but I will leave you with that, um, and you can learn more about that if you if you choose. But I probably won't be teaching it to you. Um, yeah. In summary, we have two categories for parameter passing by value and by reference. Usually, passing by reference will be faster because there is no copying involved. So if you're passing large things around, you should consider using const or var. It's worth remembering that when you pass an object as a parameter, you are always passing an object reference, basically a pointer. So you can still modify the object when passing it by value, you just can't change where it's pointing to. And if you are ever in doubt, you can always look at the CPU view, if you can reassembler. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope at least some of this made sense.